Well, hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're here to talk about a limited edition spring 2023 collection from Shantikai. That's right, all thoughts turn to spring right now in the makeup industry. This is the Wild Meadows collection. We're going to talk about it, talk about everything that's provided in the collection, and give you a little sneak peek at what I purchased and hear your thoughts as well. Okay, this limited edition collection um, really supports, um, a great deal of it supports, the biodiversity in the Carpathian Mountains. That is a large, large um, mountain range, but they're Talking about the bits in Romania, um, which are supposedly some of the most beautiful mountain ranges in the world, especially because of the plant life and, like I said, the biodiversity. And in fact, Shantikai truly is putting their money where their mouth is because $2.34 of every eyeshadow quad purchase goes to support biodiversity in uh, Romania's Carpathian Mountains. Two dollars and 34 cents. That's going to add up because these, you know, these are pricey little quads and that amount from each is going to add up. So let's talk about the collection. We have here the Eye Quartet, which I'll show you in a moment, which is $78. Um, it is two creamy shimmers. Let me, let me zoom in on this for you here, although you're getting a little bit of a preview on my face already. We have two creamy shimmers, a soft matte and a luminous matte. Uh, in there, and I will get that all swatched for you. And of course, on the outside, as usual, nobody, people might accuse Shantikai of being pricey, but nobody has ever accused them of not having beautiful packaging. No exception. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's also two blushes in this collection, which I eh, didn't pick up because, you know, they're kind of pinky blushes and I, I do have those kind of coming out of my ears. So I was interested in the eyeshadow quad. And also I can never resist a Shantikai lip product. There are three total of these lip chic, glossy, plumping uh, lip products. I bought the shade Carpathia. So there we go. Carpathia. Carpathia. Here we go there. And I am going to show you this as well. I'm wearing it already. It's beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at these swatched. First of all, in studio lighting, I'll show you this on my arm. We have the quad as it is laid out in this beautiful palette. And then to the right of that, the squiggly line is the shade of lipstick that I picked up. So take a look at that right there. Uh, I'm not sure that it shows itself off um, as well as it could or should. And so that is why we will now take it outside into the warm California sunshine. Take a look at this also on my arm in the same order with the lipstick as the little squiggle. Look at the lipstick case. Um, can you, you know, taking this out of your bag. Wow. I mean, it's just so beautiful. The floral aspect of it. The, I mean, they really have an artistic eye for everything from packaging to performance to the way the product uh, looks as it as it comes up. And I mean, there, there's a lot of thought that goes into this artistically. And um, I always say to people, you might as well enjoy the packaging because we do pay for the packaging. So you might as well enjoy it. And it, it becomes the old debate that people have about hotels. You know, I have friends who must stay in five-star hotels, and I have friends who literally get the cheapest hotel they can because they're only there at night and it all looks the same in the dark. It really depends how you feel, but when you're paying for the experience, the beauty to me is integral to it, and I just think these are, they're gorgeous. So it becomes a true luxury experience um, from beginning to end. All right, I would like to try this on and I have some surprise revelations about how I feel about Shantikai eye quads. So stay right there. Okay, I got a lot of brushes out here. I brought over some Sonia G Lotus brushes. I thought that kind of fit the theme pretty well, right? For the eyes. Um, but let's start with the lip chic that I picked up in Carpathia. Good name for the shade as that is what this supports, let's try this on. We know their lip products are lovely. And these are really comfy if you've never bought a product like this from Shantikai. It is so nice. And if you love a non-drying, nourishing lip shade that, as you see, you could put on while looking at a camera and talking. I am barely using the mirror. And it also is buildable. 
and they're really flattering. I don't think I've ever tried on one of these type of products from Chantecaille and disliked it. They're very comfy. They're very pretty. They have just enough pigment, but not too much pigment. Don't get on your teeth. Don't go down into your chin. You don't have to fix them. I was talking with a lot of people the other day about um, when we use red shades, when you're talking to someone, you're like, is this on my teeth? And they're not telling me. You don't have any of those issues here, but you still have a nice pigment. So very nice product. Not surprised that I like it. But let's try the Wild Meadows collection. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm not generally always a massive fan of Chantecaille quads. I know, I know. It's unbelievable that I'm saying it, but you know, I'm honest with you guys. So let's see if I can change my mind because I always am a sucker for a good pink. Let's start first down here with this matte shade, which is nice and highly pigmented. And I will just put that into the crease. Now, let me tell you, because these are kind of pretty pastel -y shades, I did start with an eye primer of sorts. What I did was, today I used the Rare Beauty, that's really pretty, isn't it? Today I used the Rare Beauty um, eye brightener under the eyes and I went ahead and ran that up onto the eye because I found it makes a nice base as a primer. And so that's what I've used. And I also thought that maybe these colors could use it. So far, very, very pretty. And I'm going to take and run this matte shade down, stopping my brushes from rolling away, uh, under the eye. I have one brush here that just wants to make a daring leap and run away. Okay, so we have some really pretty shades to choose from. I think I'm gonna take this Synergy Lotus brush and go into this pink. As I told you, I'm quite the sucker for a pretty pink shade. And I am just going to put that all over the lid. So far, let me just tell you, ooh. Oh, I want you to check this out. As this pink kind of blends, it becomes almost it blends so beautifully with the matte brown that I laid down and becomes almost like a little bit of a duochromy purpley blue. That is absolutely lovely. So far, this is my favorite Chantecaille quad I have ever tried. Um, sometimes I find them to be a little bit dark leaning and this one, not at all. I find this very fresh and very springtime and very pretty. So far, so good. Uh, let me take this uh, other Sony G brush here, Lotus brush that I said, and there it goes again, trying to get away. You stay right there. Okay. And we'll put that into the inner corner of the eye, this shimmer shade right here, a little bit underneath the brow. Wow, you guys, this is a super, super pretty, pretty palette, isn't it? And the only shade we haven't used, I'll use the same brush for, and that is this beautiful shimmer here, which I haven't decided what to do with yet. Let's just kind of put it over on the edge there. Okay, this is a pretty palette. This I will definitely wear, and this one I definitely like. Um, whereas I told you, I have the Jaguar and uh, quite a few others that I just really don't touch, but this one I will wear. This is very light, very spring as it promises, and very pretty. I know the formula, I know it wears well. That's why I'm familiar with the lip shades too. Those of you that love their eye quads, I think will really like this for spring. It is very kind of floral, uh, without a floral scent, of course, but it is very kind of floral and pretty and very, very feminine, a feminine look uh, onto the eyes. And I think a really pretty springtime look without being too pastel. Sometimes when we go for spring, we have these white based shades that I think for me anyway, can be overwhelming and a little too almost shocking on the eye. So I really appreciate that though we have this beautiful bright pink and this lighter kind of shade here, we have these neutrals that kind of balance it out. It makes it feel like a very safe palette, which sounds like I'm saying something negative, but I'm not at all. It's very safe, a little bit colorful, still grounded. And for that amount of money, it's kind of nice to know that you're purchasing something that you can definitely use. And in fact, that matte brown was pretty as a one and done. Um, and this pink is one of the prettiest pinks I have actually ever seen. And we have a lot of pinks in our eyeshadow palettes, don't we? So a very, very good review from this side. And the first time I have really loved, truly loved a quad uh, from Chantecaille, eye quad. I've loved, I love their products. I really, really do. But this is the first time I've loved an eye quad. So there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts though. Maybe you're gonna say that I'm blaspheming <laughs> and you love all of their quads. I don't know, but I would love to hear what you guys say below. And if you went ahead and picked this up or are interested in it, I would love to know if you picked up any of the other lip shades or one of the two blushes. I just didn't need another pinky blush. 
but maybe you're in the market for one. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. That's what makes us a community down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to grow. Come and say a big hello over on TikTok and Instagram too. And don't forget that you can support the goings on here by either becoming a member for behind the scenes cool little stuff or by giving super thanks as so many of you have. But regardless of how you choose to participate, I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.